What's up guys, Amanda here. So let's talk about my PC build. But before I show it to you, let's go ahead and talk about the parts I got and kind of why I chose them. So initially I had went with the Air 240 by Corsair, and this is a small form factor PC. And that means you have to buy parts that are specifically made for smaller PCs, either micro ATX or mini ATX. And then I also had to find parts that were compatible with Hackintosh, and that proved to be getting kind of tricky. And long story short, my motherboard was back ordered and then they canceled it. Also, I had originally went with LED lights that were purple, which you'll see why later on I canceled those out. And then also I had went with a 500 watt power supply. Since this was a smaller PC, it wasn't gonna have as many powerful components in it. I didn't need the larger PSU. So now I have the Corsair 540. And the reason I chose these cases specifically is, being this is my first time build, I wanted a case that was going to hide all the cable management, and these are dual chambered, so there was a wall in between with all these grommets, and it hides all your cable clutter on the opposite side. And with this size case, I don't have to worry about any of my parts fitting. They're all gonna fit. So here is an overview of all the parts I got. There's still a few things I need to add, but just due to money and it was a Christmas time, I didn't have a whole lot of extra cash to spend. So some of the things I'm gonna have to save up and some of the things I still need to make sure they're gonna be compatible with the Hackintosh. So my first purchase was the i7 4790K Intel processor. Now I knew I wanted to rock an Intel processor, but I didn't exactly know which one. I knew I didn't need the latest and greatest because I didn't even know if this build was going to be successful since it's my first one. And I don't know anyone that's ever built a PC, so I had no help. And some people say, what about your boyfriend? Well, he is much older than me and he has no idea about anything with computers or phones. So I was kind of on my own here. Long story short, Micro Center had this about a hundred and something off. I called Best Buy and asked them to price match because I had like a $125 Best Buy gift card. So this thing cost me about a hundred dollars out of pocket. So this runs at 4.0 gigahertz. You can't overclock it. I don't know that I ever will, but for hundred bucks, this was absolute best deal I could find. So for the motherboard, Gigabyte would have been my best option for a Hackintosh. However, I went with an Asus due to the fact that I did not want bright red, bright blue, or bright yellow in this build. So I went with the Asus Z97A, and the reason I went with this one specifically was it had USB 3.1, and it also had an M.2 slot, which means you can get transfer rates of 10 gigabytes per second. And considering this is an editing build for me, I will do some gaming on it, but that is not my main priority. I wanted this to have fast transfer rates so that I could export quickly and save all my videos quickly, and it just to streamline the process of everything. Also, I didn't need one of the pro or deluxe models considering a lot of the extras that you're paying for are not compatible with Apple. Like if they have built-in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, a lot of times you have to disable them. So I just needed a baseline board to get me started. So my original build, as I said, was a micro ATX and those don't usually have an M.2 slot. So I just bought a basic 850 Evo SSD from Samsung. This is a 500 gigabyte and it's gonna get the job done and give me pretty fast transfer rates. Later on, I have the ability to upgrade now if I would like, now that I have the newer board. So for the cooler, I could have just stuck with the stock one for a while, considering I don't have a lot of intense things going on, but I wanted to go ahead and do it all at once, so I went with a Corsair HADI GT water cooler. This one was on sale for 80 bucks or 75 whenever I bought it, and it's just kind of one of their mid to upper level tier ones. They have cheaper ones, they have more expensive ones, but I thought the more expensive was overkill for what I've got going on. The dim I went with was some Corsair Dominator Platinum. This is 16 gigabytes, and I do plan on upgrading to 32 gigabytes, but just to get this build going, I started off with 16, and I also upgraded to the LED light kit, which is why specifically I wanted this exact model of RAM. So you have noticed that there's a lot of Corsair products here. Also, my PSU is Corsair. No, none of this is sponsored by them. Yes, I do wish it was, but it's not. All of this has been paid for out of my pocket, every single item here. So I went with the CX750M from Corsair for my PSU. And the reason I went with this one is simply was this was the highest wattage that they had in stock at Best Buy. And I was building this on the 24th of December. So I just had to find what I could get and use it. So this was a non-necessary component, but this was an absolute must have. This is the NZXT Hue Plus. And once I saw this, I knew I had to get my hands on it and it was sold out everywhere. And in fact, this is why I got rid of the purple LED fans was because I wanted just the simplicity and streamline of the white fans. 
and be able to customize and control all these RGB colors with this and not have anything clash and I just think it looks fantastic even though it's a little hard to get your hands on. So guys, that's basically it. Yes, I've got this all up and running. No, I have not got the Hackintosh side of it going. I worked on it a couple days, was getting frustrated. I don't really know where to turn for answers. Yes, I've used Tony Mac. I've posted on the forums there to try to get help, but I'm a little lost and I may just have to wait until some updates come out for these things to get a little more compatibility. So I did go ahead and put Windows 10 on it and everything's up going great. I just, at that point, when the Hackintosh side of it wasn't working, I was getting frustrated. I was like, well, maybe none of this is going to work. So let's go ahead and install Windows 10, just see if the thing's even going to run. So yes, it does run. And my next video will be showing you the computer all put together. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.